Hello everybody, Marina back for another video. This one is going to be a tag and today we're doing the do I have that book tag. Without further ado, let's go straight to it. Do you have a book with the decal edges? The first one is John on the Vine, which I'm still yet to read. And it has, of course, decal edges. I hope you'll see. And Island Beneath the Sea by Isabella Lende. This one as well has decal edges. Do you have a book with three or more people on the cover? I decided to show you four books in that category, you know. We will start with Living, Loving and Lying Awake at Night by Mama Sindiwe Magona. She's from South Africa. The Harris Family by Aram Jensen. Yeah, you have four men in the family on the cover of the book. Daughters by Paul Marshall. And Somerset Grove by Diane Peart. Do you have a book based on another fictional story? I chose <laughs> Unforgivable Love by Sophronia Scott. The retelling of Les, Di Les Liaisons Dangereuses because I don't have any other book that could fit in that category other than this one. It's a good one as, as well, so why not? Do you have a book with a title 10 letters long? I found two books that could fit into that category by the same author. First, we have Discretion here, 10 letters by Elizabeth Nunez. And then we have Boundaries by the same author, Elizabeth Nunez. So yeah. Do you have a book with a title that starts and ends with the same letter? Yes, I know. It's easy. It was the easiest way to go, but yeah, I chose the letter S because on my shelves, most of the books that I tend to find start with an S and end with an S. I'm sorry. She Plays with the Dark by Zix Mda. And don't ask me, you know me, the cover. Look at the cover. This do you have a mass market paperback book? Yes, I do. The Third Life of Grant Copeland by Alice Walker. Yeah. Do you have a book written by an author using a pen name? Yes, I do. And I'm even going to show you three books by that author using her pen name. The first one being this one, Groove, Fever, and Eat. To be read in that order. In that order. Do you have a book with a character's name in the title? Yes. sugar oh let me show you another one sugar this is the paperback this is the hardback copy and of course if I didn't tell you who Geneva holiday was it's simply because there she is Bernice L McFadden is Geneva holiday do you have a book with two maps in it yes I do Sugar in the Blood by Andrea Stewart. And you have two maps of the Barbados. I don't know if you can see it. First map, here it is. And this one reads Richard Ligon's map of Barbados in 6057. Show. Do you have a book that has been turned into a, show, a TV show? I have two of them. I love the books more than I did the TV show. Okay, I did love the TV shows, but I preferred the book. The first one is The Book of Negroes by Lawrence Hill. Yeah, good. I loved it. And I also have Queen Sugar by Natalie Bazile. Do you have a book 
written by someone who is originally famous for something else. I went for this one, Nigger by Dick Gregory. I knew him first as a comedian and as an activist. Do you have a book with a clock on the cover? No. 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 Do you find a book with a clock on it? Do you have a poetry book? Yes, I do. And I'm going to show you. It's a heavy one. Yeah. Sonny Laboutancy. He was a poet, a novelist, um, a naysayist. He did it all, okay? He was a kind of a renaissance man. And of course, he's from the Congo Brazzaville. He's from my, my father's side of the Congo and he's one of my favorite of all time. And matter of fact, I have three of his books here to show you. They are all in French, but I'm sure you can find them uh, in English because they all have been translated, his novels. You have La Vie et Demi. You also have L'Anti Peuple and Les, Les Sept Solitudes de Laure Salopez by the same author. But for anybody willing to learn or to start reading uh, Sonny Laboutancy, I would really recommend you to start with this one. I feel like it's the easiest one by him. He was a playwright, so you'll find many plays by him. But La Vie et Demi, I don't know, I don't remember um, the, type, the, the translation in English. But yeah, just go there, you'll find it. But he's a very, very good poet. Yes. You see the size of this book? I would never get it out of my house. Do you have a book with a uh, no word stamp on it? Yes, I do. But Not Buddy by Christopher Paul Curtis. I'm yet to read it, but yeah, the stump is there somewhere. And you can feel it. Do you have a book written by an author with the same initial as you? No. No, and it's it will be very hard to find because my initials are B and MC. Do you have a book of short stories? Yes, I do. I have many of them, <laughs> but I'm gonna show you this one here. Intruders by Mohale Mashiho. And I'm choosing her because I read The Yearning last year, our first published novel, and it blew me away. I loved it. I gave it five stars on Goodreads. And I, kept tell, I keep telling everybody that in the beginning it reads like a science fiction, but it is not. I'm talking about the yearning. It is not science fiction, but anybody who loves science fiction, who loves fantasies, who loves all the stuff, will love that book in a certain way. And even if you don't love science fiction or fantasy, you will love the yearning. That book is just wow. Wow. So I decided. Uh, that this year I was going to read the collection of short stories. You know, I'm not very good with short stories, no. But I'm going to try. And this is the type of book I'm pretty sure that N. Jerry will love. So, N. Jerry, if you have the opportunity to get this book, darling, buy it, read it. Because I'd like for you to review this book. Because you are my specialist when it comes to uh, this type of novel. Because I know that in this one, there's a lot of uh, magical realism or science fiction situations going there and I'm showing you stuff you can find in there yeah then it I know and Jerry will love this one I haven't read it yet but I know I'll, I'll be reading it soon because I love uh, storytelling I love do you have a book that is between 500 510 pages long yeah only a Jamaican man can do that you put brief in the title of your, you know, your book, and then you write a book this long. Marlon, you're blessed because I love you. But yeah, I have this one. The Brief History of Seven Killings. And I love this copy because it is a signed one. He signed it for me. Do you have a book that was turned into a movie? Technically, this was a TV movie, kind of, but still, it was a movie. The Autobiography of Miss Jane Pittman by Hermes D. Yeah, G. Gaines. 
I told you already that it was thanks to this woman that I discovered this writer because whatever it is that she played in I watched and I watch a movie till the end you like I read everything <laughs> that is written on the screen and do you have a graphic novel I don't know if this could be classified as graphic novels but these are children books yeah let's say that these are graphic novels they are in French um, Le Sorcier du Fleuve I highly recommend this if you have a child that you you're willing to teach French to because it is in French and when I saw this I was like oh my gosh c'est trop beau that's just wonderful and the story I'm not telling you anything about the story you need to buy the book and read it if you read in French it's really fabulous and you also have a CD toward the end so that you can listen to uh, Gabrielle Kinsa who is the writer of this one and is the one telling the story in there wonderful and also this one let me show it to you Le Mystère de Zala Zoba the colors remind me of my father's city of birth so yeah on my um, in the city my father was born into which is named Lubomo the clay is red exactly the same color as in here so the yeah the story is really it takes me back into my childhood into those moments I was spending with my paternal grandpa uh, grandpa so yeah I loved it I love the wisdom in there <laughs> Same in here, at the end of the book, you have a CD with uh, Gabriel Kinsa, once again, telling the story, okay? So yeah, I, uh, I, I would consider this to be my graphic novel. Do you have a book written by two or more authors? Yes, I do. I have this one, Far From the Three, Far From the Tree by Virginia DeBerry and Donna Grant. Yes, they wrote this book together. Voila, I'm done. So bye bye for this time and see you in my next video. Bye.